Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Practical Asian, or the most practical of Asians. It's in the name. You can say it however you want. Anyways, um, I'm back with a video, and you know, it's really interesting. I'm having to do a lot of back-to-back -back recording sessions on numerous videos. I guess it's crazy with the news today, but just keep, I'm going to keep it real entertaining for you. Now this one, I'm not going to be able to provide ev any evidence because the point of the matter is there is no evidence to go over. It's just people's opinions at the end of the day. And this has to do with the power world controversy. Now, I need to just preface this situation by going ahead and saying I love power world. And I also love Pokemon. But people were going ahead on Twitter, the most godforsaken platform on any kind of platform. Yeah, I said that. So what? I hate Twitter. <laughs> and they were going ahead and just being armchair lawyers and detectives saying, oh, you know, Pal World is infringing on Pokemon. Now, there's a lot of problems with that, but let's first get into why they're saying it. Now, they're saying that a lot of the pals look like Pokemon. Well, for a few, it's very true. Like for the Dire Wolf looking like one of the Pokemons, or like Luxray being completely ripped off, in my opinion. I can only point to a few, but many people were going ahead and drawing comparisons to so many other ones, and, you know, fair point. To be honest, when I'm playing the game, and I highly recommend you guys watch my gameplay, um, it's interesting, because I'm kind of referring to them as Pokemon myself, because they look like Pokemon to me, and that's fair. It's par for the course, right? But... Then people are going ahead and saying, hey, you know, Nintendo should sue them. Now, there is a problem with that. And here's the main con. Th this is the main problem with, you know, people sitting in their armchairs going like, yo, you know, we're going to go ahead and see what Nintendo does. Nintendo should sue them, all that stuff, whatever. Nintendo is someone who's very, very protective of their IPs. And I'll give you a point to this. There is an Australian YouTuber, I don't know his name, because, and I can't really pinpoint who it is, because I know that their post had been taken down, and I just casually passed by it, and I wish I took a screenshot of it, but there was an Australian YouTuber that went ahead and made a mod for, Poke for Power World, where you could put Pokemon in place of them, and you could go ahead and put uh, Ash Ketchum as a character. And Ash Ketchum is shooting Pokemon, which is really funny. Now, that guy, technically, a lot smaller than Power World, out of the way, I'm going to be honest. And I don't mean any, like, you know, any kind of, like, disrespect or anything to the creator. Amazing and it is all right, maybe, right? Um, but he had made a mod that used assets from Pokemon, and for how small he is compared to Power World, he got taken down so fast, I couldn't grab screenshot. I'm trying to find him on the internet, and I don't even know where to start looking. That's how fast it was. So, if you're telling me Nintendo, knowing full well, they knew from 2021, the announcement trailer, right? Now let's just say, oh, maybe somehow Nintendo missed the announcement trailer, 2024, you had the launch of the game, what, six days ago or something like that? It's been some time now? You're telling me that Nintendo hasn't seen all of this going on and all the controversy and said, you know what, we need to sue? They would have done that from the get-go, but they didn't. And fair use is non-existent, basically, in Japan. So, mind you, if Nintendo, the most, he, it's a very litigious, very litigious um, company, if... They haven't immediately put out a lawsuit. There's probably a reason why. And they're not stupid. So, now with all of these armchair detectives going ahead and, you know, complaining about Power World, there's also another camp I need to talk about. And that is disgruntled Pokemon fans. See, Power World isn't, it wasn't supposed to be as successful as what it was. And a lot of you will say, oh, hey, what are you talking about? And I'm just going here to say, here's why. Me, as a Pokemon fan, I, I'm i telling you from the moment X and Y came out till, what, the recent one being Scarlet and Violet, I've stopped playing Pokemon. And 
I tried to pick it up. I actually have a copy. I forget which one it is, but it's the one where you get Score Bunny as a starter. Um, I mean, you guys would probably know if you love Pokemon, but I have to say, when I played the game, first 3D one, it was amazing because it was the first 3D one, but the world was so lacking, it sucked. And I was just like, you know what? I hope Scarlet and Violet is better or Legends of Arceus is better. Legends of Arceus, cool concept, graphics sucked. It, like, you have the most, you know, profitable gaming company of all time. And you're telling me they have so much of a problem that they can't even do half the work that maybe, I don't know, Activision can do for their shooters. Like, there are companies that make so much less money than them, and they're able to put out insane marvelous games and then i just get a barren wasteland sorry about hitting the mic but a barren wasteland or in many cases a bunch of like brown and green splotches and you call that a grassland put some tall grass and boom you'll find a, po a pokemon in there it's garbage in fact the 2d games look way better and play way better than the new ones i, I don't get what's up with that and that's the complaint of many people now, when something like Power World comes along and actually puts an interesting spin on what essentially is Pokemon, what people love, right? Of course it's going to do it well, because a lot of people just want a refreshed, interesting game. And Pokemon is not cutting it. In fact, I wouldn't be so shocked or surprised to see if people all of a sudden stop, uh, start ignoring Pokemon altogether. Because, you know, who's going to want to play Pokemon if they're not gonna do anything and you're seeing you know the player base kind of die down a little like when I was there Ash Ketchum was there right like uh, you know when I was born and all that stuff and you know growing up as a kid you had Ash Ketchum you had everything of course the Pokemon base was so strong but now the new kids ask any one of them hey do you play Pokemon they're probably gonna say no in fact I've seen more kids talk about Stardew Valley or like you know, some other game. I, I don't even recognize the game's name. But I've seen them talk more about that than they have Pokemon. And you're, guy, you're kind of seeing where I'm making this comparison from. It almost makes sense that something like um, Pal World came out. Now, will Nintendo go ahead and sue Pal World? I don't think so. But Nintendo is looking into it. I know this because... It doesn't take a it doesn't take a smart man to kind of look at you know Nintendo seeing this situation and being like, what can we sue them for? Because of how you know successful they are, I'm pretty sure Nintendo will find some way to go ahead and say, hey, they stole my stuff. They've done it in the past for, before with fan games, and I'm waiting to see them do it now. But I doubt it because they've had years. But we'll see. Um. I'm pretty sure Nintendo will put out a statement in the next coming of days. Um, it's going to be interesting just, you know, going ahead and putting up this video for whenever it's supposed to be scheduled. I think tomorrow is when you guys will see it. But with that being said, though, um, yeah, that's just kind of the way it goes. And it's just an interesting, like, me talking to you guys kind of video. So let me know what you think. Um, I really don't think anyone really has a claim here for Power World. And... With that being said, you know, it like if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, anything like that. And if you didn't like it, just let me know what I can improve. Dislike it if you want. But yeah, that's me. And I practically could give less of a shit. So I'm out. See ya.